The bilary system is composed of the gallbladder and bile ducts, both intrahepatic and extrahepatic, which serve to drain the liver of bile and store it. The hollow, pear-shaped gallbladder is located in the gallbladder fossa on the anteroinferior portion of the right lobe of the liver, closely associated with the interlobar fissure. It functions as the reservoir for storing and concentrating bile before it is transported to the duodenum. The gallbladder can be divided into a fundus, body, and neck. The fundus is the rounded distal portion of the gallbladder sac that is frequently in contact with the anterior abdominal wall. The widest portion, the body, gently tapers superiorly into the neck. The narrow neck lies to the right of the porta hepatis and continues as the cystic duct. The neck contains circular muscles that create spiral folds within the mucosa called the spiral valves of Heister. These valves are particularly prominent at the bend, formed by the neck and cystic duct, a common area for gallbladder impaction during acute or chronic cholecystitis. The gallbladder has a muscular wall that contracts when stimulated by the hormone cholecystokinin forcing bile through the extrahepatic bilary system into the duodenum. Cholecystokinin is secreted by cells in the duodenum as a response to ingestion of fat and protein into the stomach or duodenum. Bile is an alkaline fluid formed within the liver and stored in the gallbladder to be discharged into the duodenum for assistance in the digestion and absorption of fats and elimination of cholesterol and bilirubin from the body. It is collected for transport to the gallbladder by the intrahepatic bile ducts. The intrahepatic bile ducts run beside the hepatic arteries and portal veins throughout the liver parenchyma. The intrahepatic ducts merge into successively larger ducts as they follow a course from the periphery to the central portion of the liver, eventually forming the right and left hepatic ducts. The right and left hepatic ducts unite at the porta hepatis to form the proximal portion of the common hepatic duct. CHD, which marks the beginning of the extrahepatic bilary system. The CHD is located anterior to the portal vein and lateral to the hepatic artery in its caudal descent from the porta hepatis. As the CHD descends in the free border of the lesser omentum, it is joined from the right by the cystic duct to form the common bile duct CBD. The CBD continues a caudal descent along with the hepatic artery and portal vein within the hepatoduodenal ligament. It curves slightly to the right, away from the portal vein, then courses posterior and medial to the first part of the duodenum behind the head of the pancreas. The CBD follows a groove on the posterior surface of the pancreatic head, then pierces the medial wall of the second part of the duodenum along with the main pancreatic duct duct of Wursong, through the ampulla of Vader. The ends of both ducts are surrounded by the circular muscle fibers of the sphincter of Adi. <laughs>